Welcome to the Natural Health Show with one of New England's leading holistic specialists, Mark Mincola. Call Mark at 617-822-1969 on 96.9 Boston Talks. Greetings and welcome home, Natural Health Nation. Great to be with you this Sunday, this beautiful early I should say early spring, late summer, or late winter, rather, uh, Sunday afternoon. It's uh, starting to warm up out there. I'm thinking ahead a little bit, but I can't help it when that sun first hits. It's great stuff. Hey, we're talking with you this evening about a very interesting and very controversial issue. A lot of folks, of course, hear more and more and more all the time about Lyme disease and a remarkable film that uh, folks might want to check out, Under Our Skin, you might want to check that film out if you've not already seen it. Uh, it's a very controversial film, film that uh, argues that uh, persistent infection with Lyme disease is responsible for a variety of debilitating symptoms and uh, health-related issues. Uh, and so many folks are starting to hear more and more and more about Lyme disease. Lyme disease is an infectious disease caused by a spirochete or spiral-shaped bacterium. And uh, that bacterium is, of course, uh, responsible for so many controversial health-related conditions uh, with so many folks these days, carried, of course, by uh, the Lyme tick. And uh, first established or discovered in 1975 in Lyme, Connecticut, according to the uh, Connecticut Department of Public Health, 1975 was the year that everybody started to uh, begin to pay attention to this really unusual process and disease that uh, so many folks are affected with these days. And Lyme disease is considered to be one of the fastest growing diseases or illnesses in the world. Uh, according to the CDC, 25 to 35,000 people a year are uh, represent new cases, and an estimated 1.8 million Americans are uh, already infected. Of course, uh, many experts and physicians suggest that it's about 10 times that. And 12.5% uh, of those infected have clinical symptoms, only 12.5%. So it's remarkable. It's a mysterious issue. It's a very inflammatory uh, issue. And, of course, so many folks have their health impaired with fatigue, joint and muscle aches, mild fever, if not severe in some cases, headaches, drowsiness, swollen glands, uh, many other uh, peripheral symptoms, of course, unexplained hair loss, headaches, uh, pressure in the head, twitching, facial symptoms, facial muscles, uh, jaw stiffness and pain, double double vision, blurry vision. Uh, it goes on and on and on. And an awful lot of folks are unfortunately becoming more and more familiar with this whole process, this mysterious process. And again, you know, one of the things that the film that we talked about a few moments ago, Under Our Skin, talks about is the great controversy here because so many in the medical establishment fail to even acknowledge or recognize this condition, yet uh, so many millions of people are currently affected by it and looking for recognition, of course, number one, so that number two, we can find viable solutions. At this point in time, uh, there are those troubleshooting uh, thinkers out there, those creative thinkers among the various medical communities who are finding solutions beyond just antibiotics. There are natural solutions. There are studies regarding some of the natural solutions. And again, we're going to talk about those this evening because they are amazing studies and very viable solutions. Of course, the present solution of antibiotics is increasingly uh, more and more important for so many folks. Anywhere from 10 days to 6 weeks uh, are being recommended as far as courses for antibiotics to deal and contend with the symptoms associated with the inflammation of the spirochete uh, that we know as Lyme disease. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Lyme disease from the perspective of the uh, film that we've mentioned under our skin. We're going to talk about it from the perspective of natural solutions, of which there are many, and uh, studies to back up the viability of those natural solutions. So we're going to talk with you. Of course, we've got phone numbers here we want to share with you as well because we're looking for your input, your questions, your responses, your answers as well. 617-822-1969, of course, 969, pound 969 for those with Verizon Wireless, and uh, that's a free call. We look forward to your questions, and we're going to have answers for you regarding any health issues, any natural health issues. We're going to talk about Lyme when we come back. Stay tuned. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Your talk, your talk, your talk, 96.9 Boston Talks. It seems as though the whole world is rapidly changing. We're all becoming more passionate about natural health, personal growth, and living life at a higher level. Hi, this is Mark Mincola. I invite you to all join me Monday, April 11th from 7 to 9 at Hope Floats. 
in Kingston, Mass., for a very special inspirational presentation entitled Living Truly Healthy, Whole, and Healed. During this presentation, I will share some of my most inspiring life lessons learned through 30 years of natural health and healing work. In addition to our theme of healing inspiration, I'll also share the latest information regarding the very best natural ways to get and stay holistically healthy. I assure you, you won't want to miss this truly remarkable evening of inspiration, health, and healing. It's time for us all to begin our personal transformations together. Again, that's April 11th, Monday from 7 to 9 at Hope Floats in Kingston with me, Mark Mincola. To register, call 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728 or online at myhealthylivingmag.com. Hi, this is Catherine from Jaro Formulas. We can be found on the web at jaro.com, J-A-R-R-O-W.com. Jaro is a leading manufacturer of dietary supplements. We offer over 300 vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and probiotics. At Jaro, our mission is to provide superior nutrition and formulation. We team with industry leaders and top academic researchers to bring you quality you can depend on. This is exactly why we have partnered with Mark Mincola. Mark brings cutting-edge science in education to his listeners and clients and we are proud to be part of his team we look forward to bringing you more information about specific products over the year with mark and exciting topics you can buy jaro formulas at a health food store near you find out more about jaro at jaro.com that's j-a-r-r-o-w.com hi this is laura from good health Now is the time we need to think about getting fit and preparing for spring. If you've overindulged or just want to tone up, there are safe, natural pills, powders, and juices to help boost your metabolism, curb appetite, and block fat absorption. Some of our favorites include Life Extension's Optimized Urbingia with green tea, seaweed, and white kidney bean. Oprah and Dr. Oz are even talking about this one. It's a breakthrough African mango formulation that has been proven effective for weight loss. Check out our acai diet and cleanse with exotic fruits like goji, mangosteen and noni pure energizing products that cleanse and detoxify to help you lose those inches and pounds quickly no artificial stimulants just clean potent ingredients at good health in quincy and hanover you'll find nutritional cleansing products for yeast heavy metals or parasites liver colon and whole body cleansing kits safe proven organic solutions to help you feel more confident today thanks for listening and we'll see you soon are you a woman experiencing hair loss did you know that you are not alone Over 40 million women suffer from some form of hair loss in the United States. There is no reason to feel ashamed or alone. At P.K. Walsh Hair Solutions for Women, we can help. My name is Nikki Walsh, owner of P.K. Walsh, and I too suffer from hair loss. Together with our team of experts, we have helped thousands of women look and feel good again through state-of-the-art preventative care, laser light hair rejuvenation, strand-to-strand hair augmentation, hair extensions, hair integration, hair additions, and full wigs. If you are one of the millions of women suffering from hair loss, P.K. Walsh Hair Solutions for Women can help. Call P.K. Walsh of Needham at 781-444-4414. That number again is 781-444-4414. You can also visit us on the web at www.pkwalsh.com. Nikki, is this weather ever going to end? Record-breaking snowfall and record-breaking home heating costs. I know, Marcy, but the good news is we're hearing from lots of great New England homeowners thanking us for saving them money on home energy costs. And Dad gave me a mission to help even more people with our new pro windows. Hey, where is Nick? Dad's out of town, snowed in at the airport. Who knows when he'll be back? But I still have a mission, and New Pro needs to do something big. What's that? Even though the tax credit's over, our savings aren't. We'll match the $1,500 tax credit with a qualified purchase, and unlike the government, we won't make you wait. Instant $1,500 savings. Shouldn't you run this by your dad? Nope. He gave me a mission, and I'm on it. And our factory's ready to roll. Sounds big. Hey, don't forget our craftsmen install windows all winter long, regardless of the weather. You're going to feel good with New Pro. We We guarantee it. Thank you, New Pro. That's why I tell my friends to call 1-800-GO-NEW-PRO. Visit newpro.com. Rules and restrictions apply. Visit newpro.com for details. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969. 
The Ryzen Wireless Users Lucky You. Free call pound at 96.9. We're here for your questions. And uh, you can be off topic. We don't have any problem with that. We always uh, answer virtually any question regarding, I guess, just about everything except one time we had somebody ask about chewing tobacco. And I just decided that I didn't really want to uh, take that one question. <laughs> but uh, any other health-related questions, if indeed chewing tobacco is a health-related question, we're happy to take those. We're here also to chit-chat with you about uh, an interesting topic a very mysterious condition that uh, so many millions of people suffer from and suffer with, uh, and yet we have a world uh, at large that's uh, sort of at loggerheads about whether it even exists. Uh, We mentioned the film, the 2009 film Under Our Skin. Uh, Director Andy Abramson Wilson did a a remarkable job. Andy Abrams Wilson, rather, did a remarkable job directing the film. I urge you to check it out, but uh, his sister was infected back in uh, the uh, 2006-2007 2007 period, and of course he was inspired to make the film from uh, his sister's experience. But, uh, you know, he mentions in the film that uh, the Associated Diseases Society, the I'm sorry, the International Lyme and Associated Diseases Society, uh, the Connecticut Attorney General, Center for Science and the Public Interest, a number of different uh, governing bodies and uh, official spokespersons actually support the notion that indeed uh, this is a very real disease, a very real condition that we really have to pay attention to and acknowledge. And uh, yet he also points out in the film that uh, the Infectious Diseases Society of America and the American Academy of Neurology uh, are, you know, they're at odds with the major medical bodies. Uh, The um, a uh, number of different uh, groups out there that are fighting this whole notion and suggesting that it doesn't really exist and that it is uh, a non issue and that uh, rather all the various conditions that uh, and the various symptoms associated with the condition are separate issues and uh, to be treated separately. But uh, as far as acknowledging that Lyme disease is a legitimate diagnosis, uh, there are questions. And the film portrays the Infectious Diseases Society of America as a group uh, laden with conflict and uh, various interests uh, otherwise. So uh, there is a, a dueling battle going on out there about is it for real, but I think certainly millions of Americans and millions of, of, uh, of folks around the world certainly acknowledge that fact, uh, considering that there are 200,000 new global diagnoses each year of uh, Lyme disease. So uh, it is an ongoing issue that, uh, thank God, health-related officials are starting to pay attention to, and physicians alike are now treating so many folks out there for Lyme disease. And again, the symptomatologies are things that uh, certainly bear a tremendous amount of respect and attention. Initial symptoms from Lyme disease include fatigue, joint muscle pains, mild fever, headaches, drowsiness, swollen lymph glands, also uh, unexplained hair loss, headache, mild to severe in some cases, seizures, pressure in head, uh, and uh, twitching, facial or other muscles, joint pain, jaw pain, etc. So double vision, on it goes. A lot of folks suffering with these issues and uh, really at a loss because uh, there is really only one thing that uh, that the medical uh, establishment really uh, treats Lyme disease with these days, and it is indeed antibiotics. And again, the courses run anywhere from 10 days to six weeks. But uh, we're talking about a condition that is absolutely in, in, in right now, it's, uh, in, uh, it's on fire. It's happening all over the planet. But uh, evidence has suggested that the insects that cause this problem don't need to bite us in order to cause infection. And there's evidence that Lyme disease can be spread by a number of other non-insect methods, uh, including from person to person through sex. So um, researchers at the University of Wisconsin have recently found that dairy cattle and other animals can actually acquire the disease and pass it on to humans through the food chain, which is very unnerving as well. And uh, it is considered to be one of the fastest growing diseases or fastest growing illnesses in the world. As we say, 200,000 new cases every year. And uh, it's only estimated right now that 1.8 million suffer from Lyme disease here in the United States. we got Debbie on the line from Hudson. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show and the Natural Health Show. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. I'm a um, pet care provider, mm-hmm. and I've, I've had um, several tick bites, but I've always managed to get them off within, like, 24 hours. Right. And I've heard that if you do, then you're not as likely to develop Lyme disease. 
Well, that's, uh, you know, again, there are mysterious equations uh, associated with Lyme disease, and there are, there are those that believe that's t the case, and there are those that uh, do not accept that as fact. Uh, there okay. are certainly many folks that are debating that very issue among many other issues right now, but uh, I think... I've been, I've been tested, yep. and, and I, haven't, I haven't come down with it. Well, that's good. I mean, the Western yeah. blot is considered the gold standard here, so there are many different immune globulin tests. There's some IgG tests, et cetera, but I think the real key is the Western blot is the key, and that's actually okay. uh, the most important way to uh, determine whether or not you are in, indeed infected or not. You know, and many folks uh, suggest that uh, there's quite a lengthy period uh, after. In other words, it can be from uh, one to four weeks after being bitten that uh, you start to show uh, signs of symptoms. And again, in some cases, you don't even feel those symptoms. 12.5% of those infected, according to a Swiss study uh, recently of, uh, you know, uh, I think there was over 1,200 people in the Swiss study, and they found that uh, only 12.5% of those infected had clinical symptoms. Hmm. So it's, it's rather mysterious. And again, there are, there are theories now that there are many carriers of Lyme disease that may not show symptoms at all. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's still debate about how it's carried, whether it can be carried. There's some very recent studies now saying that it, that the uh, spirochete is actually pleomorphic, which means it can change its form uh, as it would need to, so to survive. So, mm -hmm. you know the. Uh, so should someone be checked, even though they've had a negative test, like say. A month or two later to make sure? Yeah, I mean, I think the Western blot, I mean, if you, again, listen, based on, number one, your profession, number two, mm -hmm. you've been exposed, you've, you know that if you've been exposed and experienced um, some bites, uh, likely over, how many years you've been doing your work? I, I guess quite some time, probably, right? Uh, um, about Five years. Okay, so over the five-year period, you know, a lot of exposure. I would say that uh, if you have any hint whatsoever, not to uh, not to second guess it, but to, but to have okay. your physician run a Western blot. Is that the normal test that most physicians run? Yeah. Again, you know, there are some that'll run more immune globulin type tests, but uh, all the research uh, indicates that the Western blot is the gold standard. So if you're really uh, questioning whether or not you have Lyme disease and you want to uh, put it to rest, whether you do or not, you mm -hmm. want to get a Western blot. Okay. You know, then there's the, then there's a, a one other thing I would caution you with, with as well that you you could conceivably show symptomatologies at any given point in time. Mm -hmm. So some folks say that it could be a matter of years before you start to notice these symptoms. Again, let's say when your immune system is compromised, hopefully it never is, but at any given mm -hmm. point in time later after a bite, uh, if you go through any severe stressful periods and your immune system is compromised, it mm -hmm. could well start showing up and symptoms could start showing up and the inflammation could start becoming more profound. So okay. keep an eye on it. But uh, I would say, yeah, get the Western blot and okay. uh, put the issue uh, at least at rest right yeah. now and keep an eye out. All right. Thank All right. you very much. Stay well. Thank you so much. All right. Once again, our telephone number is 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless users, pound 96.9. We're here to talk with you about natural health issues and Lyme disease. We've got Elaine on the phone from Westford. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hi there. How are you? Terrific. How are you? Good thing. Well, I could be better. Okay. Um, I, I was diagnosed with a herniated uh, lumbar disc yep. um, back in November. Um, cortisone shot, physical therapy, yep. and it brought me to a point where I was better, but I have kind of plateaued. Still um, lots of pain. Um, I am seeing a neurosurgeon um, who recommended doing a second hour, which I just had. I was just wondering, what would be your take on a herniated disc? Well, first of all, you know, I think that probably the best that uh, natural medicine could be uh, expected to do for you would be to perhaps help you a little bit with the pain, mediating some of that pain and uh, supporting neurology. I think there are two things that come to mind when it comes to the neurological support. Number one, vitamin B12, just to make sure that uh, during this period uh, you supplement your diet with some vitamin B12 that is called methyl, M-E-T-H-Y-L, methyl B12. That is the type of B12 that will support and strengthen 
strengthen, fortify uh, your nervous system. So I think that's number one. I would say probably a sturdy dose, anywhere from one to 5,000 micrograms per day of methyl, methyl B12. Number two, there's a homeopathic called Hypericum, H-Y-P-E-R-I-C-U-M. I would recommend Hypericum in a 30C, which is uh, the potency, and then suggest that you uh, dilute, I'm sorry, that you uh, put three pellets under the tongue three times a day. Uh, and I would recommend that you do that for a good month or so. So that's Hypericum 30C, three pellets under the tongue three times a day. Methyl B12, uh, one to 5,000 micrograms per day. That's just for the nervous system. For the pain, uh, a couple different things. I would recommend that you take something called DLPA, which is DL-phenylalanine. And uh, DLPA is an amino acid, and it should help you mediate pain response. I'd say 500 milligrams, three per day on an empty stomach. And last but not, last but not least, something called Zyflamend, Z-Y-F-L-A-M-E-N-D, Zyflamend, to mediate any kind of inflammation that might be uh, associated with this problem as well. Zyflamend, I would recommend two caps three times or total of six caps per day. I think those things could help you quite a bit. From the nutritional perspective, during these periods of pain and inflammation, any kind of acute trauma that you encounter, you want to make sure that uh, you're, you're, you're using a diet that is uh, restricting the amount of red meat, dairy, and nuts because you want to keep the, uh, the prostaglandin twos at a, at a minimum in your chemistry. Okay. Well, good to know. And now, where would I get these products? You can get them uh, over the counter at the health food store. We have one of our sponsors, Good Health Natural Foods. Uh, we'll provide you with these. I mean, most of the natural uh, health food stores in your neighborhood will take care of business here with these. Not, not a problem to find these at all. Okay. So these will sort of help the symptoms. Exactly correct. I think that as far as herniated disc, you're talking about something that is very in, very important to take care of at a structural structural level. Obviously, you're going to work with... Uh, you're seeing a physician right now, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, and uh, what, what, what exactly are you doing? You're doing PT, you said, right now? I, I did. I did for about three months. How did that work for you, PT? Um, like I say, it helped, but I, I think I've plateaued. Um, it, it's helped, you know, strengthen um, yep. the muscles. Um, but I, the disc is still not back in place. Yeah, well, you know, I think, again, you're dealing with something structural here. You you, right. you could visit with an osteopath. You could uh, get their perspective on it. Uh, there are many very good osteopaths in the area, so I would recommend that you perhaps uh, check in with an osteopath. No doubt you could. Uh, you, you probably have had plenty of x-rays, so you can bring your, your results and let the osteopath take a peek and uh, discuss matters from a uh, natural perspective as far as structure goes. But uh, I think, I think mediating some of that pain inflammation would be helpful. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thanks for calling. We've uh, got a little time for a break here. We're going to take a little short breather, and we'll be right back to talk with you about natural health issues and certainly about Lyme disease as well. My name is Mark Mincoli. You're listening to The Natural Health Show in Boston and New England. Our numbers are 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless, pound 96.9. We'll be right back. Boston Talks. Mornings with Jim and Marjorie. On the next Jim and Marjorie, 745, Chris Collins from NECN talking sports. 920, Meredith Goldstein from the Boston Globe talking your love relationships. And right off the top, if the banks limit your debit card to $50 a pop, could you survive? Jim and Marjorie, now at their new time. Weekday mornings, 6 to 10 on 96.9 Boston Talks. There are many things we can't control in life. One thing we can control is how we choose to take care of ourselves. Hi, this is Mark Mincola. The key to making your health a priority is becoming educated on how your body works and how to make it work for you. Join me as I lead a series of monthly webinars to educate individuals on nutrition and optimal health. During these webinars, you'll learn about healing your thyroid, immune support, nutrition strategies, preventive disease, and so much more. For just $99, you can participate in my webinar series right from your home or office. Log on to www.myhealthylivingmag.com or register at 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. 
Learn to maximize your wellness and change your life. You know, when most people hear the word allergies, they think only of hay fever-like symptoms associated with airborne pollen, dust, and mold. But did you know that many experts estimate that between 60 and 80 million of us suffer from immune-related food allergies without even knowing it? Furthermore, food allergies often contribute to serious health problems such as autism, irritable bowel syndrome, ADD, headaches, and chronic ear infections. Now, there's an effective way to identify and eliminate both your food allergies and the troubling symptoms that they aggravate. Halitess Medical Labs at foodallergy.com offers a full complement of clinical, environmental, and food allergy testing to help you get to the root of your allergy problems. Halitess also provides you with a comprehensive rotation diet, lifestyle booklet, and a wallet card to help you live food allergy-free and stress-free. Do you wonder if you or your loved ones are among the 60 to 80 million food allergy sufferers in America? If so, log on to Halitess Medical Labs, foodallergy.com. Talk to your doctor about ordering a food allergy test from Halitess Medical Labs today foodallergy.com make sure the food you're eating isn't what's depleting you do you own or manage a natural health fitness day spa or go green business perhaps you have a unique restaurant that offers healthy entrees heart smart seafood vegetarian or lighter fare options I invite you to share your vision and deliver your message directly to health-conscious New Englanders by becoming a sponsor of the Natural Health Show, New England's number one health radio show. The Natural Health Show is now welcoming potential sponsors to join our Natural Health family by offering a number of creative and flexible sponsorship packages. For information on how to become a sponsor of the Natural Health Show, simply call Candida at 781 834 2728. That's 781 834 2728. Be a part of New England's natural health revolution. Join our Natural Health Show family today. Do you suffer from allergies or know someone who does? Would you like to finally enjoy life allergy symptom free? Mass Allergy Relief Center in Lexington has the solution. Using holistic technology that corrects the negative reactions caused by allergies and sensitivities. At Mass Allergy Relief Center, their therapies are non invasive. No needles, no drugs, no supplements. Just relief. Finally, with the help of Mass Allergy Relief Center, you can relieve chronic sinusitis, hay fever, food sensitivities, digestive issues, and other chronic complaints. Call Mass Allergy Relief Center today at 781-274-7700. That's 781-274-7700. Visit them online at massallergyrelief.com. Call Mass Allergy Relief Center today and get allergy symptoms relief right away massallergyrelief.com are you too shy do you worry about being the center of attention do you avoid going to social events and meeting new people if you answered yes to any of these questions you may be suffering from a problem called social anxiety disorder social anxiety disorder affects one out of ten people and often causes problems at work at school and in your relationships Massachusetts General Hospital is conducting a study for people with social anxiety disorder comparing standard medication treatments. Clinical evaluation and clinical care are provided along with close monitoring throughout the study. So if you're nervous around people or worry about being the center of attention, call MGH to learn more about this study and whether you may qualify at 1-866-44-WORRY. Call the Center for Anxiety and Stress Disorders at MGH at 1-866-44-WORRY. Again, the number is 1-866-44-WORRY. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless Pound 96.9. I just wanted to share this real quickly. A recent research paper by Straubinger confirms that the bacteria responsible for Lyme disease is capable of transforming itself from a spirochetal form to a spherical shape when it encounters unfavorable conditions. This ability to convert is thought to protect the bacteria from the body's immune system system as well as help protect it from the attack of antibiotics. The study also found that intact RNA, which is essential for reproduction, was able to survive this change in shape. So obviously the ability to transform, to change itself, to adapt to immune attack from our immune system, from antibiotics, is one of the ongoing questions as a result of this particular recent study. And uh, we're on the line with Donna from Westport. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Thank you. How are you? My pleasure. Thank you. 
Uh, my son was just recently uh, diagnosed with long-term Lyme, and uh, we are pretty much trying to get over the shock of the diagnosis. Yep. Um, he's actually got botanella now, which I guess um, they guesstimate that he possibly has had it for approximately 10 years, and I was just wondering, um, you know, they have him on antibiotics right now and mm -hmm. say it could be a long haul, so I was just wondering if you could give me a little more information because it's just... <laughs> It's kind of like daunting as a parent to start to try to absorb everything that's going on. Sure. Well, first of all, I mean, the antibiotic is uh, is num numero uno. I mean, there's no question you're going to have positive response from that antibiotic. Number two, right. I think you also really want to, uh, I mean, if you look at some of the blogs and, and listen to some of the physicians and healthcare practitioners that have worked with us for 10, 20, 30 years, you really start to get a, a great sense of appreciation for the importance of diet. I mean, everybody, but everybody is saying, look, you got to understand that bacteria have favorabilities uh, as far as environment go. Choices, you know, for a, a bacterial choice to, is to live in a very acidy environment, a very fermented environment. Bacteria love vinegar. Bacteria love uh, fungal foods and mold-based foods. So the simple way to put it is nutritionally you want to keep to lean proteins, you know, chicken, right. turkey, fish. You want to stick with greens. You want to stick with fruits, uh, as we said, vegetables and fruits and whole grain products. You know, when it comes to packaged foods and a lot of the prepackaged uh, products, preparations out there that have a lot of yeast in them and a lot of uh, vinegars and soy sauces and fermentations and condiments. You want to be careful of those uh, right. because, again, bacteria really prosper in those environments. Last but not least, of course, you want to be really, really careful about sugars because, again, sugar is another uh, acid-forming food that produces a very favorable fermentation envir environment for bacteria. Uh, you know, there are natural supplements as well that you can really supplement his program with. Um, you know, there are a lot of research studies about... Um, about uh, grapefruit seed extract. Grapefruit seed extract is a wonderful natural antibiotic. Uh, right. You can find that in virtually any health food store in capsule or drops. Right. Obviously, for a young guy like your son, you're probably better off to do capsules if he can take capsules. Right, right. Also, there's a product I like a lot called Transfer Point is the brand name. They make a beta-glucan, B-E-T-A-G-L-U-C-A-N. Transfer Point beta-glucan. Also, last but not least, uh, there's a company called Ecological Formulas that makes something called Nutricillin. Nutricillin is a lactoferrin colostrum uh, supplement that is really, really helpful for some of these issues as well. I've used them over the years with a lot of patients and had great success with, again, grapefruit seed extract, uh, transfer point, beta-glucan, and the ecological formulas, Nutricillin. I think you'll have great support with those and follow that diet. Stay on the antibiotics. He'll come around quickly. All right. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Take care and good luck. All right. Let's see here. We've got... Uh, Karen on the phone from Amesbury. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show and the Natural Health Health Show. I'm sorry, what's the name again, Mark? Karen. What are these people who back in 1982 was um, jogging around um, on Oak Bluff through the leaf mold mm -hmm. and was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, which they now believe was Lyme? Easy, and easy to confuse the two, isn't it? Uh, well, there was no test. They really, you know, I I don't think that they even had a perspective on it um, at that point yep. in 82. Yep. And pretty much from the time I was 25 until I was 30, um, the only thing that saved me um, unbelievably was that I kept getting treated for another condition with doxycycline. Yep. And... I would beg my doctor to keep me on the doxycycline, but there was no reason in their mind to because I would revive. And um, anyway, I, despite that, I didn't think I had ever been exposed to Lyme. I thought I had chronic fatigue. And so when Dr. Alan um, Steer, mm -hmm. is it Steel or Steer? Steer. The Lyme researcher? Yes. He, uh, I was part of the Lyme disease vaccination trials. Yep. And, um, but supposedly because of that, when they were doing the Western blot and all the tests on me, because I've been reinfected many times, yep. um, they kept on denying the fact that I was having Lyme because they couldn't, it was supposedly skewing the test results. Right. They couldn't really explain it. 
in a way that I could understand, but that was what I was told. So I started being denied antibiotic, and um, the long story short, I, I'm, I'm in, and I'm knocking wood in some remission period, but I just want to warn people that are listening that they are in leaf mold. And they're at the edges of fields, like they from light to dark. Absolutely, and they will spring out of the of the shadows onto you. And one old timer up here, an old Yankee, gave me the best advice. When you come in, um, what he does is he strips down. He lays down a white towel in his tub, and he strips down those clothes he's had on. Those are his, like, hiking clothes or outdoor clothes, mm-hmm. and he shakes it out. And then, and then he bends the scalp over because I keep, when you get tick bites on the scalp or even on your back, you, you might not even know they're infected till like, a week later when you start to not feel good. Of course. Well, and the other so, thing is there, there are many carriers, the, the white-footed mice, white-tailed deer, birds are also Lyme carriers, and also the, uh, in, the Sierra Integrative Medicine Clinic in Nevada now states that authorities estimate that up to 90% of the United States population could be carrying Lyme spirochete, and that Lyme is a factor in over 50% of all chronic illness. So we're talking about, you know, you've got, uh, as we said a little while ago, you've got some folks, for example, like the Infectious Diseases Society of America that says it doesn't exist. And then oh, I've had my go round. <laughs> it's her, it's her battle. And then you've got the Sierra Int- Integrative uh, Medical Clinic in Nevada saying that uh, you know up to ninety percent of the U.S. population could be carrying the spirochete, and it's a factor in fifty percent of all illness. So in between, you've got uh, a whole bunch of people that are just playing confused and, and really suffering uh, uh, horrible. Uh, horrible uh, fates out there. So, it's really quite a quite a remarkable issue. It's it's Lyme is uh, is quite a hot button right now. And uh, you know, again, the numbers are increasing uh, dramatically. We're talking t- even the CDC says twenty five to thirty five thousand new cases in this country every year. Uh, one they they say one point eight million Americans are infected. But a lot of physicians, like Dan, Daniel Kindler, for example, one of the experts, Doctor Dan Kindler, says uh, it's more like eighteen million at this point. So, a lot. Yeah, of- I know, Doctor Kind. I have to say that there are two tells that I'd like to mention to listeners. Um, one is cellulitis, and and uh, then the other is that I kept looking in the mirror. I wasn't feeling good, mm-hmm. and I would say to the doctor, and it sounds like you're an insane person, I would go, I don't recognize my face. It was like subtly distorted from being swollen. Right. And I would go, the contours of my face are off, and it would be really distressing to me. And then, you know, I would have other symptomology. I would go on the doxy. So over time, as that was a reoccurring factor for sure. me, yep. I realized it's some kind of maybe the cellulitis in the tissue is creating a distortion in the planes of my face. So right. I actually was able to diagnose a friend of mine who had been to his internist, um, who has top medical care, and he showed me a rash on his neck. Well, his indoor outdoor cat sleeps on his shoulder or Mm -hmm. his neck. And I said, you know, I think that's related to Lyme. And he went, he found another doctor who would do the test, and he was like full-blown with two different forms, like ehrlichosis and anaplasmosis. And and his whole, he actually, his whole visage and his neck, everything, um, it was so swollen, and he had that symptom that I had, that, like, Weird distortion. Well, it is of an in, it is an inflammatory. It is an inflammatory bacteria. We're talking about the lymph system and the, neuro, the neuro, neurological system becoming inflamed. And there's no oh. question that uh, these symptoms are profoundly inflammatory symptoms. And we're so happy to hear that you sound like you're in remission. And uh, thank yeah. thank you so much for calling. Um, you know, one of the other things I like to bring out too. There, there's a six month study uh, of folks who tested positive for the Western blot. 
And uh, this six-month study basically found that an herb called Uno de Gato, which is cat's claw, you can find commonly over-the-counter at the health food store. You want to make sure you get TOA-free. TOA-free is tetracyclic oxindol alkaloids. The, just make sure that you're getting cat's claw. It's an herb, cat's claw, TOA-free version. And uh, they found in this six-month study uh, that 85% of all of all the subjects uh, experience dramatic, dramatic improvement of all symptoms. And again, it's a natural uh, antibiotic called Cat's Claw. Great uh, company called Nutricology. Nutricology makes a very good TOA-free form of Una de Gato called the Prima Una de Gato. Anyway, we'll be right back with your calls. My name is Mark McCullough. You are listening to The Natural Health Show in Boston and New England, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless users, pound at 96.9. We'll be right back. Friend us on Facebook. Link up at 969bostontalks.com. Are you a woman experiencing hair loss? Did you know that you are not alone? Over 40 million women suffer from some form of hair loss in the United States. There is no reason to feel ashamed or alone. At PK Walsh Hair Solutions for Women, we can help. My name is Nikki Walsh, owner of PK Walsh, and I too suffer from hair loss. Together with our team of experts, we have helped thousands of women look and feel good again through state-of-the-art preventative care, laser light hair rejuvenation, strand-to-strand hair augmentation, hair extensions, hair integration, hair additions, and full wigs. If you are one of the millions of women suffering from hair loss, P.K. Walsh Hair Solutions for Women can help. Call P.K. Walsh of Needham at 781-444-4414. That number again is 781-444-4414. You can also visit us on the web at www. PKWalsh.com. For more than 18 years, Personal Best Karate has been teaching character education, physical fitness, and self-defense skills to people of all ages. Led by three-time world karate champion Chris Rappold and his highly trained and motivated staff, you are sure to find a one-of-a-kind program that is just right for you and your family. Learn firsthand how Personal Best Karate can transform your life by giving their new amazing introductory offer a try. Now for only $19.95, you'll receive two private lessons and an official Personal Best Karate uniform. You'll immediately see just how easy it is to improve your self-confidence, your mental focus, and your health and fitness. The helpful staff at Personal Best Karate will arrange a convenient schedule and design an affordable program to help you achieve your personal best goals. That's Personal Best Karate with locations in Norton, Foxborough, Southeastern, and Norwood. Check them out on the World Wide Web at personalbestkarate.com or call their home office at 508-285-5425. Mention that you heard this ad on The Natural Health Show and receive a free special gift while supplies last. Manifest your personal best at Personal Best Karate. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless Pound, 96.9. And we've got Kathy on the line from West Roxbury. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks from the Natural Health Show. Hi. How are you? Good. Um, I wanted to make a comment. Sure. Uh, I have an uncle that lives in Southern California in mm-hmm. the San Diego area, yep. and he was sick for the longest time, and um, it ends up that he had Lyme disease, and he kept asking people to check him, different doctors to check him for it, and they kept saying, no, it's impossible. You won't have it. You don't have it. And, you know, it's not in this area. And sure enough, when he finally found someone that would do the test for him, it was a positive. And uh, he had so much um, speculation that, you know, this is Southern California. We don't have Lyme disease in this area. Right. And I just wanted to make a comment that, you know, even it's it spread that much, you know, in this country that even people that didn't think that it was a problem in the area now have to start recognizing the fact that it's everywhere. That's a great comment. You're absolutely right about that. And actually, uh, the, the, the if you look at the websites, the uh, state of California is one of the most active uh, Lyme societies out there of any states in the United States. So they're on top of it. They're trying their very best to get the word out there. But but uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's been a great uh, source of frustration. You know, on top of the horrible treachery of these these nasty symptoms, uh, people have to be contending with the uh, the uh, stalemate that they've uh, had to deal with regarding awareness. And uh, you know, it's it's a sad uh, sad comment. But uh, you know, th- hopefully he found some uh, some resolution. Did he? Yes. Wonderful. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. We appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We've got uh, Bill on the line from uh, Arlington. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show and the Natural Health Show. Hi. Thanks. Thanks for your time. I love your show. Thank you. Uh, I had neck surgery 
uh, about a week ago, mm-hmm. and at another in on the west coast, and I, I have a under my jaw in the rear of the jawline. I have a significant hematoma about the size of a golf ball, mm-hmm. a lot of black and blue bruising. I know it clears up over time, but is there anything one can do to help accelerate that? Whether it's heating pads or I don't know, putting something on it. A- any thoughts about it? I mean, it's pretty significant. Yeah, I think the first thing you want to think of is vitamin P. Most folks don't even know that there is a vitamin P. Yeah, there you go. Well, of course, I always talk to folks about vitamin P because vitamin P is actually a, it's a root and hesperidin complex a bioflavonoid. Uh, it's the inner part of that orange that everybody throws away. You, you, th- you have a grapefruit, you peel it, you, you have an orange, you peel it, and you've got that inner white pulp that everybody is so careful to, to peel off and throw away. That is vitamin P, folks, and that's uh, an uh-huh. associate that works with vitamin C. I can get that a good, good earth. You sure can. Good health, natural food. Health. Indeed, you can. Yes, and you can get those. Are called bioflavonoids. So it's vitamin P. The trade that you, the trade name you'll find them under is bio b i o flavonoids. F l a v i n o i d s. So it's something you swallow. You don't apply. Yeah, they're capsules. They're 500 okay. milligram capsules. I'd have you take two of those three times a day just to strengthen that lumen capillary and help your body to regulate some of that uh, mm-hmm. that uh, breakdown process. And mm-hmm. I think um, also, you know, there there's some other really good. Uh, homeopathics that are really helpful for these hematomas as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's actually something called Arnica, A-R-N-I-C-A, okay. which you might have heard of before, but it's a classic homeopathic uh-huh. medicine for traumas and shocks of any kind, especially physiological mm-hmm. like this. So you might want to try Thank a 30, 30X is what I'd recommend. Okay. There's different potencies of 30X Arnica, A- A-R-N-I-C-A, uh-huh. and uh, three pellets under the tongue three, uh-huh. t- three times a day okay. just for about a week to ten days. Would a heavy-duty heating pad work at night help at all? Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt at all, but I think your vitamin okay. P will make a big difference. With vitamin P. Yeah. Wow. Do you mind if I ask one other question? Go right ahead. Uh, I, I I've been struggling with weight loss for about twenty five years since mm-hmm. I stopped smoking, yeah. and uh, slowly getting it down. It's it's painful, and I I, I have an under the arm thyroid of ninety five point seven, like yeah. day you know week after week, so it's low. And I've been classically, I'm a, I'm a classical syndrome X insulin resistant person. Now I'm eating a pretty good diet, a little bit of fish, a lot of veggies. But any thoughts of anything to assist with this process of trying to yeah. lose the last 35 pounds? Yeah, well, for, first of all, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, your basal temperature is really important. If you study the work done at the Broda Barnes Research Foundation, yes, which, is a, which is a great place, uh-huh. uh, they do a lot of thyroid research down uh-huh. there. And uh, the key is they tell you you want to be between 97.8 and 98.2. Right. So you're way down there. Yeah, I'm way down. So you want to take a look at a supplement called selenomethionine, S-E-L-E-N-O, selenomethionine, M-E-T-H-I-O-N-I-N-E. Uh-huh. And I would recommend 200 micrograms a day of selenomethionine to increase the conversion of uh, T4 and T3 so that you have mm-hmm. a, a smooth transition there. Also, zinc in the form of gluconate, G-L-U-C-O-N-A-T-E, 50 mm-hmm. milligrams a day, 50 milligrams of zinc gluconate. Mm-hmm. And uh, a B-complex like the N-O-W brand, B-complex, I think a B-50 mm-hmm. would be good with your lunch and one with your dinner. Mm-hmm. Those three things make All a big right. difference. So that could help uh, start to balance that out. Well, it should, yeah, yeah, you should see your temperature pop up a little bit. The The only other thing you might want to consider here, too, if I'm, uh, how about uh, shellfish? Are you allergic to shellfish? No. All right, then one of the things you might want to try is you might want to consider some kelp tablets or some dulse drops. Okay. Okay, because they have iodine in them. And, of course, iodine is really, really important for that thyroid, mm-hmm. for TSH production. So mm-hmm. I'd recommend uh, uh, either some, Good Health actually has some dulse mm-hmm. drops that mm-hmm. I'd recommend just as mm-hmm. as directed. All right, thank you. That's it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your yep. support. My pleasure. Take it's care. It's a great show. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And we got Lisa on the line from Westboro. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're in the Natural Health Show. Hi. How thanks you? for taking my call. Great topic. Thank you. I have a two-part question. Mm-hmm. Uh, my first question is uh, regarding the antibiotic treatment uh, for Lyme. What would you recommend to help with uh, the Herxing reaction that sometimes comes about with that, the Herxheimer yeah, the Herx- um, cycle? Yeah, for those who don't know what a Herxheimer reaction is, a Herxheimer response is what they often refer to as a healing crisis. In other words, before you get better, you sometimes get a little worse. And Herxheimer, with this particular situation, is a matter of when you start killing bacteria, one of the very first things that bacteria will do is they 
they'll release toxins. So, uh, you know, you're not going to feel good when that happens in many cases. And the immune system sometimes has a hard time dealing with that response. So a couple things, actually, that I think uh, might be helpful here. Um, again, you know, homeopathically, you're just referred to uh, a product called Arnica, A-R-N-I-C-A. Arnica is a great homeopathic for kind of uh, any kind of traumas, any kind of sudden changes in, in health issues. I'd recommend like a, a 30X of, of A-R-N-I-C-A, Arnica, three pellets under the tongue three times per day. I'd also recommend something called Propolis, P-R-O-P-O-L-I-S. Propolis is a product, actually. It's a poplar tree resin that has a really high concentration of uh, of phytonutrients in it, and a lot of the research on it indicates that it drives up T cell response. So it really kind of helps your immune system to kind of get itself together a little bit more efficiently. And propolis is uh, best consumed in 500 milligram quantities, probably twice a day. Be great. Great, great. Thank you. You're very I welcome. I have one quick question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, have you heard anything about the newer cytokine-based tests for Lyme to diagnose? Yeah, had- yes, I have, and they're pretty excited about those. But, uh, you know, my feeling is that uh, if you really look into it, there's a lot of the folks suggest that it's still a little bit new. Let the knots, uh, let them work out the knots. And uh, the Western blot has never really failed anybody here, too. I think that's the other part of the equation. The Western blot has been really reliable, continues to be reliable, and is still at this point in time the gold standard. But, uh, no, you're absolutely right. Those are, those are are We're looking a little closer at those. And a little more time goes on. I think probably they'll uh, they'll be uh, more widely implemented. Yeah, great, great. That's what I'd heard too. Thanks. All right, take care. Thanks. Thanks. All right, let's see here. We've got uh, Rob in the line from Salem. Welcome to ninety six nine Boston Talks. You're in the Natural Health Hi, Show. How, hi, how are you? Terrific. How are you? Good. I called you a few months ago, and because I had a prostate problem, I had one core that had five percent uh, cancer. Right. I went back for another biopsy, and um, it came back all 12 cores were negative. You told me to take, uh, and which I started taking, and my PSA did come down, a cortisone plus. Right. I sent away, and I've been taking that cortisone plus. My question to you is, I'm taking the cortisone, and um, the doctor told me, before you, before I heard the show uh, last week about uh, Xylamed. Yes, Xylamed. Xylamed. I've been taking that. Now, my question is: I take the cort, the Cortison Plus, the Xylamed. First of all, it's, it's Quercetin. 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 I'm sorry. Doc. It's all right. Um, I take the uh, Z- uh, Xylamed. Uh, Xylamed. Yep. Uh, I take I take beta prostate twice a day. Yep. Zinc. Yep. And I take um, um, fish oil. Mm-hmm. I take about 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams a day. Yep. I take shock cartilage. I take CQ10. I'm wondering, am I taking too much stuff, Doc? Yeah, a little bit of overkill. I mean, I think that uh, the Xyflamend, number one, the, the uh, Quercetin Plus, yeah. is going to continue to keep that PSA down and to keep uh, continue to keep your prostate healthy. Uh, and I think also the Xyflamend is really, really superb because it's a COX-2 inhibitor, which means it inhibits those hormones and those prostaglandins that really uh, inflame the body and, and really inflame the cancer process. So, you know, it's really smart to take those two things. Fish oils, who could argue with fish oils these days? So I think the, those are the three that I think you really want to lock into. You know, CoQ10, you could easily argue from the perspective of uh, sort of general cardiovascular health. It's like, who, who shouldn't be using that for general cardiovascular health? Beyond that, I think those four would be my choices, and that's about it. The beta prostate you'd stop taking? Um, you know, I think that uh, I think that to me, if it were me, I'd I'd want to continue with the Quercetin Plus. I'd want to continue with the uh, the Zyflamen. I think those are the two most important things: keep the COX two in- inhibition in- engaged. Okay. How about the other one? Is L uh, arginine? Would you take that? No, I would not take L arginine. I would avoid that like the plague, actually, because that uh, L arginine is um, is you actually feed retroviruses with L arginine. I wouldn't mess with that one. Really? I wouldn't touch that. Okay, would you take D3? Of course. I think D3 is another one of those things that, uh, again, like fish oils, the research is continually coming in about how important D3 and fish oils are, so you can't go wrong with D3. The shock knowledge you're doing too? Say that again? The shock knowledge? Nah, no, I, I don't think I'd go that far. I, I think I'd probably uh, exclude that. Okay, and one other, just the last one is uh, light, light, uh, lycopene? Lycopene? Uh, overkill. 
overkill. Wow. Okay. From the nutritional perspective, I mean, I think it's really important to eat your berries, eat your polyphenol-rich fruits, and you know the the uh, blackberries, raspberries, etc., uh, strawberries, blueberries, um, tomatoes. Just keep doing that stuff uh, from a nutritional perspective, and I don't think you have to worry about the lycopene. Um, also, you know, most importantly, avoid the fermented foods, right. the vinegars, etc. Vinegar. We t- we talked about all that, but hey, it's great to hear that you had great results. Yes, so, please it, it is, and I thank you so very much. And I, so I have five now. I've, I've whittled it down from twelve to five. So so not not only are you feeling better, you're you're actually saving money. <laughs> So yeah, I'm saving a few, few dollars. <laughs> saving a few bucks. Good, good luck. Thanks so much for calling. Thank you Thomas. very much. Thank my, you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right, uh, we're going to take one more call here. Let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. Paul from Hyde Park. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show and the Natural Health Show. Thank you, Mark. My mother is uh, 75 years old, and she has a lump under her arm and a lump in her breast, and she's going in for testing. Um, she's going in for a mammogram and ultrasound Monday, tomorrow. Um, what if she does have cancer? Um, do you, can you make suggestions as to make uh, to, to make the body uninhabitable for cancer? Well, what what we would do is just point out two important things. Obviously, you want to follow uh, whatever whatever recommendations her physician uh, leads her through. That's number one. Number two, you can support that dualistically speaking. Uh, you want to do so with, uh, like we just said a little while ago, keeping the inflammatory foods down. Inflammatory foods: red meats, dairy, egg yolks. Uh, nuts and uh, a lot of fermented foods you know vinegars marinades things of this nature you want to keep those down and uh, be very very careful about uh, avoiding those because again fermentation is a problem and prostaglandin 2 the uh, pge2 cox2 foods uh, really problematic as well but uh, you know follow follow the dual therapy as best you can and uh, you know i think nutritionally you can make a huge huge difference so see if you can help guide her through what that about process. loading up on broccoli sprouts and stuff and juicing and all that stuff no you don't have to listen i think here's the key it's more more, it's more addition through subtraction. You don't want to feed the bad guys, okay? And again, uh, Dr. Mitch Gaynor down at the Strang Cancer Institute down in New York talks about the importance of avoiding the, the uh, COX-2. We're going to have to let you go because we're up against the hour okay. here. But uh, let me know how you do with that. Get back to us uh, next Sunday. Wow, this time goes fast. Uh, anyway, we thank you so much for your calls. Thank you for listening each and every week, of course. You want to make sure you stay tuned to Woody and Abby for Right Turn Radio, America's number one addiction program. Great, great program. So make sure you stay tuned and listen to them. And, of course, uh, we want to thank John Parker, the extraordinary producer of this program. We also want to thank uh, Adam Ng, who uh, helps podcast this program, so you can actually watch the shows by going to our website. It's www.maxhealing.com. One word, simple enough, maxhealing.com. I'll be on Fox 25, of course, Fox Morning Show at, uh, I believe it's 8.50 this coming coming Thursday to do my segment, the Living Well segment, and uh, we look forward to doing doing that and look forward to talking to you again next Sunday. Until then, this is Mark McCullough reminding you all, please be wise, be aware, be well, make it a healthy week. Good night.